All right, take a look at this 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner in Hemi Orange, flat black hood, the scoop on it with the 446 barrel logo, although that is not what is underneath the hood in this. This actually has a custom built racing engine that was done in Albert Lee, Minnesota out of RS Racing. Uh, puts out 700 horse. So yeah, there's a lot of goodies underneath the hood. I'm gonna get into a little bit of it. Uh, it's a 512 cubic inch roller motor with Eagle rods and crank and diamond pistons. The heads in it are Indy EZ 295. They're CNC ported, uh, Indy intake ported to match. I mean, just built the way that you'd want it done. Like I said, it's a very healthy engine. The engine has approximately 400 miles on it and a couple dyno pulls, and that is it. Uh, pretty friendly for the street considering how many horsepower it's putting out. Uh, there's some other information if you'd like to know about it. Give us a call. We got some notes on it and uh, we can get into more of the details and more of that engine. That's kind of it in a nutshell. It's paired with an 833 tranny, uh, four speed, 23 spline uh, with a ram dual disc clutch. So, I mean, it's, it's made to go in a straight line. It's made to cruise and it's made to go fast. Let's put it that way. Um, once again, as you can see in the Hemi Orange, it is a true Roadrunner, decoding by the VIN. It was a 383 car, but obviously that's all been changed with the, uh, with the built motor and everything underneath the, the hood. So if you're looking for a kind of classic Roadrunner look with a lot of horsepower, definitely take a look at this car. You can give us a call, ask us about any of those details. We can kind of go down the notes we have from the builder. Uh, the number you can reach us at, 507-386-1726. And of course, you could uh, check out any of the still pictures. So you can check out the engine pics. You can check out the trunk underneath it. Those can all be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. And once again, take a look at the in interior pictures. Got those all in there. There's vinyl buckets, obviously, four-speed on the floor. Uh, black interior. I have Jeff, who's going to help us fire this bad boy up. Uh, it is a little cold-blooded, so we're going to have him inside. He can feather the throttle a little bit easier than me climbing in and out and uh, getting this beast going. So uh, we'll go ahead and have Jeff fire this up. There's a little sequence to getting it going with the fuel pump and everything. But you guys can see